Would you like to know the fastest way to go from this to this? Well, if you do, guys, today we're going to be covering the ultimate Brawl Stars upgrade guide, including six tips to boost your progression in Brawl Stars, the best way to spend gems, and the cheapest way to max out your account. Hope you enjoy! Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. it is time to brawl. Now today we're going to be doing an updated version of the ultimate upgrade guide in Brawl Stars. And this guide is made for spenders and non-spenders alike. Now for today's video, here's what we're going to be covering. First of all, we're going to do a quick explanation of the Brawl Stars progression system, including how the drop system actually works. Then we're going to go over six tips to max out your account faster for free. Then of course we'll cover the best way to spend your gems. And I'm also going to talk about how I would max out an account as quickly and cheaply as I could if I were to start a brand new account right now. There are going to be a ton of great tips to actually max out your account faster throughout this video, so I highly recommend watching the entire thing. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Brawl Stars videos just like this one. Now let's actually briefly cover how the Brawl Stars progression system works, as well as talk about how the drop system works. First thing you need to know about are going to be tokens. Tokens are what you earn from battles. In order to open up a free brawl box, you need to gather 100 tokens. Star tokens are earned when you win each of the four event modes during the day. And if you get 10 star tokens, you are then able to open up a free big box, which is the equivalent of three regular boxes. Now there are seven possible drops that you can get in a box. The first is obviously, you know, new brawlers. Until you earn all of the brawlers that cannot be earned in the trophy road, there is a chance in every single box that you will actually unlock a brawler. Now if you actually go over to the shop and you click on the box and then click on the info in the upper left hand corner right there, it will actually show you your drop rates to receive all of the brawlers. One thing that's interesting is that once you actually unlock all of the rare brawlers, the chances that you will, un will start unlocking super rare brawlers or epic or mythic or even legendary brawlers actually increases. It's not by very much, but it actually increases even more after you unlock all of the available available super rare brawlers, meaning that the odds increase for epic, mythic, and legendary brawlers. And then of course, once you have all the epic and all of the mythic brawlers, then the odds are actually increased even more for you to get a legendary brawler. The chance of you actually unlocking a legendary brawler is still very, very slim, but one thing that's really nice that Supercell put into the system is a sort of luck factor. Whenever you open up a box that does not give you a brawler, your luck factor increases. And whenever you open up a box that does give you a new brawler, your luck factor decreases. The higher your luck factor, Factor, the more likely you actually get a legendary brawler from a box. You're essentially guaranteed to get every single brawler in the game, it's just a matter of time and a matter of patience. <laughs> Most time you'll get coins from your brawl boxes and those coins are actually used for you to actually upgrade a brawler to the next level. But on top of that you also have to have enough power points for that specific brawler to level them up to the next level. Unless you happen to be unlocking a new brawler, you will get power points with every single box. That is until you have enough power points to completely max out your account. At that point, those power point drops actually get converted behind the scenes into gold drops so you start getting extra gold with every single box. Generally the power points that you get from your brawl boxes are evenly distributed amongst all of your brawlers and because they're distributed fairly evenly between all of your brawlers you're actually more likely to start maxing out your earlier brawlers that you unlock than your later brawlers now there are actually three types of bonus drops that you can possibly get from your brawl boxes on top of the power points and gold First of all is going to be gems. Gems are the premium currency that you can actually purchase to help speed up progress or even purchase special skins from the shop. There's a 9% chance that every box you unlock will actually give you free gems. There's also a 25% chance that you will unlock some event tickets from one of your brawl boxes. Those give you access to special ticketed events that happen on the weekend that either are especially fun or actually unlock a lot of extra rewards. Additionally, there is a 3% chance that you will get a bonus drop of total token doublers from your brawl boxes, which will actually double the next X amount of tokens earned from battle. The seventh possible drop that you can get from a brawl box is called a star power. Once you have a brawler at level nine, in order to get them to level 10, you need to unlock that brawler's star power. Typically, you can actually purchase them from the shop for 2000 gold, but if a brawler is at level nine, there is a 1% chance that you will get a lucky star power drop from one of your brawl boxes. Now let's talk about all 
of the tips that I have in order for you to help max out your account faster for free. The first tip that I have is for you to go into your settings and connect Supercell ID as quickly as you possibly can. When you do so, you will be given a free wizard barley skin. And if you do not have barley, this will automatically unlock barley for you. The next tip that I have is for you to play at least every 12 hours. The amount of tokens that you can earn increases by 20 tokens every two hours and 24 minutes. That time frame will actually happen five times in 12 hours, which will cap the amount of tokens that you can earn at 100 out of 100 at that 12 hour mark. By playing at least every 12 hours, you will earn all of the tokens available, which will help you open up as many brawl boxes as possible. My next tip is for you to win every event during the day at least once so that you can earn its star token. If you do this, you'll be able to open a big box every 2.5 days. And because the big box is equal to three regular boxes, this means it's basically like earning an additional 1.2 brawl boxes every day just for getting your star tokens. For solo showdown, you have to get at least fourth or better to earn your star token. And for duo showdown, you have to earn at least second place or better. My next step is for you to reach 800 trophies as quickly as you can, which will then unlock the fourth event mode, which is the special events. This will allow you then to be able to start earning four star tokens every single day. Now, this might sound daunting to a new player, but if you actually follow my foolproof guide to pushing trophies as quickly as possible video, that will not be an issue for you at all. In fact, if you follow the tips in that video and you actually have the time, you very easily could get that in just one day of playing. No joke. My next tip is for you to upgrade most of your brawlers all evenly, especially to level six or seven. I say most because there's a special exception in the next tip, but more information on that a little bit later. When a lot of people jump into Brawl Stars, I see them compare it to other games where it's very common to just play one character that will then become their main character. This actually doesn't work in Brawl Stars for two very big reasons. The first reason is that there are actually different game modes that favor different types of brawlers, and within those game modes, there are even different maps that also have different metas between them. Additionally, not only do you get tokens for passing new thresholds for individual brawlers, you also gain special rewards in the trophy road based on your total trophies, which is the combination of all of your brawlers' trophies combined. Now, the reason why I recommend upgrading every brawler to at least six or seven is because at level seven, you're actually only at a 10% stat disadvantage than a max brawler. This is because every level that you upgrade only increases your stats by 5% of their base stats. And because you don't actually gain stats from level 9 to 10, having brawlers at level 6 or 7 does make you competitive against max players if you can outskill them. Now if you are curious on which brawlers you should focus on first, or which brawlers are better for certain maps and modes, I uh, definitely recommend that you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss the Brawl Stars tier list, where I cover the best brawlers for every single game mode in the game. Now my next tip is a very important one, okay, and that is to focus on upgrading at least one brawler to level 9 as quickly as you can. As I said earlier, once you have a brawler at level 9, there is a 1% chance that you will actually unlock a star power from the brawl boxes instead of having to purchase them from the shop for 2,000 gold, which is a ton of gold. Getting that lucky drop will greatly decrease the amount of time that you will have to spend maxing out your account. Now, here's how you can actually upgrade one brawler faster than the other brawlers. Normally, the game will actually spread out your power points fairly evenly between all of your brawlers, but every day, PowerPoint offers will actually show up in the daily deal section of the shop. Some people will tell you to not spend any gold in the shop. I don't recommend buying all of the specials, but it is completely okay and beneficial for you to purchase PowerPoints for one or maybe two brawlers. Not like buying two specials every day, but specifically choosing one brawler that you buy PowerPoints for whenever they pop up in the shop. One argument that people bring up is that gold is the limiting factor for you to actually max out your account. And there are a lot of complicated reasons and explanations that I give, give to you as to why that's actually not completely correct. But I have a feeling that most of you guys don't want to listen to me rant about it for five minutes. <laughs> now, once again, the reason why I suggest picking one or two brawler to really focus on and purchase the power points for them whenever they show up in the shop is so that you can get those brawlers to level nine as soon as possible so that there is a chance for you to get a free star power in a box, which will greatly decrease overall progression time. There are a lot of fun brawlers out there that all have really cool star powers, but there are actually five early brawlers that I would recommend focusing on early progression because their star powers are actually relatively game-changing. Shelly, Colt, Jesse, Bo, 
and barley. You can only get these lucky star power drops once a brawler is at level 9. So if you do get a lucky star power drop and you only have that one brawler that just went from level 9 to 10, I recommend upgrading a second brawler to level 9 as soon as possible so that you can then get another lucky star power drop. I can't stress the importance of following that tip enough. Like, we're talking months of free-to-play progression here, guys, if you do this versus people that won't do it. Okay, guys, let's start talking about the next part of this video, which is the best way for you to spend gems in-game. This is important for free-to-play players as well as people who spend money on the game because you will get free gems in your brawl boxes. After we do that, I'm going to talk about how I would max out an account as quickly and as cheaply as possible. Now, the first thing you need to know is that those special level 15, level 5, and even level 25 and 35 special packs that you can purchase, that's the best way to buy gems, guys. That's actually Canadian dollars right there, but in the US, it's actually $4.99 for that level 15 pack. If you're thinking about buying gems, those are the best bang for your buck. I secretly wish that I could buy them again. Also, this may be a little obvious, but buying the more expensive gem packs actually gives you additional value the larger the pack you buy. If you know that you love Brawl Stars and you know you're the kind of person that's gonna spend at least $100 on the game, I highly recommend just going straight up for that $100 for 2,000 gems right off the bat. Now that you have a bunch of gems, there are a lot of different ways that you can actually spend them. We're gonna go ahead and start off by talking about the least effective way for you to spend your gems and then move on to the most effective. The least effective use of your gems is going to be purchasing big boxes for 30 gems. This is the equivalent of three boxes and that basically means, means that the cost is going to be 10 gems per box. Next is the mega box which is the equivalent of 10 boxes for 80 gems which means that it costs 8 gems per box. Up next is the mega box daily deal where you have a mega box for 60 gems. This is the 20 gem discount off the regular price which is the equivalent of 6 gems per box. Now, if you are a new player, the most efficient way for you to consistently spend gems is going to be on your token doublers. Token doublers will double the next 1,000 tokens you earn from battle, which means that your net gain is going to be 1,000 tokens, which is the equivalent of 10 boxes. At 50 gems for 10 boxes, that is the equivalent of 5 gems per box. By the way, if you are just starting to play Brawl Stars and you want to give yourself a huge boost right at the beginning, I highly recommend purchasing these token doublers. One quick side note, you do see that purple spell special offer right there. There are special offers similar to this one, not only for coins, but also for power points, tickets, and token doublers. As I'm recording this video, the game was just barely released, and I'm not sure if those special offers are going to be permanently in the game, or if they are only because the game was just barely released. If they are permanent, and you do see something similar to that, I actually highly recommend purchasing them, as they're about 30% discounted, and that's that's pretty great. Now let's talk about event tickets. Now on the weekends, you can purchase three separate ticket offers. These include six tickets for 10 gems, 20 tickets for 30 gems, and 60 tickets for 80 gems. These tickets give you access to those special events that only happen on the weekend and there are a few different types of weekend events and the rewards that you earn from those events actually differ between the events. I recommend playing them a bit and determining which events you are able to most consistently earn tokens with and then playing only that one event with the exception of playing each one at least once so you can get the star token from that event. For the six ticket offer you have to get 34 tokens per ticket in the given event in order to make it comparable to the token doubler offer. For the 20 ticket offer you have to earn 30 tokens per ticket or higher to make it comparable to the token doublers. For the 60 ticket offer, you have to get 27 tokens per ticket in order to make it comparable to the token doublers. And this is the best deal to purchase. Now, the last thing that I wanted to mention, it was this special offer right here that will allow you to purchase a rarer brawler for a certain number of gems. I get a lot of people asking me whether this is worth purchasing. Obviously, if you have the money and you think that the brawler that you want to purchase with those gems is worth it, then I absolutely say go for it. It'll help you progress faster in total trophies. And of course, it will help support the development of the game. But what if you don't have a ton of money and you're not sure if it's worth it? Well, then it really does come down to how patient you are or how badly you want that brawler. All it takes for you to get one legendary brawler is one lucky brawl box. And as I mentioned earlier, it's a matter of time before you do actually get that brawler. The chances are very good that by the time you completely max out your account, you will have unlocked every single brawler in the game, including legendary brawlers, from your regular brawl boxes. So where the legendary specials are about 30 US dollars for a single legendary brawler, 
I like to look at that as spending $30 for one lucky box. If the brawler is worth it to you, then I say go for it. Like I said, it does help with development of the game. But if your account is not maxed and you're not a heavy spender, I would actually recommend just taking $30, spending it on gems and using that with the other methods that I talked about for spending gems to actually help you open up more brawl boxes. That way you'll get gold, you'll get power points, you'll even get bonus drops, including tickets, gems, and token doublers. And there is a chance that you will get that brawler that you wanted from the rewards of all of those boxes. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and talk about the fastest way for you to max out your account for as little money as possible. Obviously, if you just wanna max out your account as quickly as possible, you can just take $1,000 and just put it in the game and just buy brawl boxes. By the way, that number's not actually just made up. I did a whole video where I talked about how much it costs to actually max out your account. It's actually pretty interesting. I'd recommend going and watching it if you have the time. Now, mega boxes are for those heavy spenders that want to max out their account quickly. But what about the medium to light spenders? Let's say I had the the goal of maxing out an account as quickly as I possibly could for as cheap as I possibly could. The most efficient way for you to spend your gems for skilled players that can actually really do well in those ticketed events is going to be to purchase those 60 ticket specials for 80 gems a piece. For players that cannot get those really good rewards in those ticketed events, I recommend going with the token doublers. If you're a light spender, I recommend going for one of those two options. But if you are a medium spender like me and you want to max out your account quickly with as little money as possible, I recommend going with both of those options. Not only would I buy the 60 and 20 ticket specials on the weekends, I would also make sure that I always have token doublers up as well. And this is true because you can only purchase one of each of the ticket specials on the weekend. I still haven't done the complete calculation to figure out exactly how long it would take for you to max out an account or how much it would cost to max out an account doing this method. But if you follow all the tips in this video, I can almost guarantee you that it's actually less than six months. And that's a very safe estimate, but I'm gonna have to do the math and give you an exact number in a different video. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to max out your account as cheaply and quickly as you possibly can. If you did like it and you have some friends that are also into Brawl Stars, I highly recommend sending it their way because let's be honest, that's what a good friend would do. You don't want to be selfish and keep these tips all to yourself. Anyways, guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in a very big way. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.